this lab I'm going to show you how we can create a map using QGIS software. The first thing which we have to do is to open QGIS. For this I'm going to my menu and just type QGIS. Here you can see that I have different options. I have QGIS 3.4 version, but for this example I'm going to use QGIS 3.10 version. So I click, QGIS is starting. It takes usually a few seconds depending on your computer. And here I click new project button. After I cre created a new project, the first thing which I have to do is to save it. So I go to project, save as and navigate to the folder where you want to save your project and the data. I will call this project map USA. After I have created the project, the next thing is to add the data to my project. For this we are going to work with the vector data with a shape file. There are several options how you can add data to your QGIS project. The first and the most easiest one is to go to your folder where the data is located, navigate to the folder where the data is and select a file with CHP extension which stands for shapefile. Then you just drag and drop it to your canvas. What else you can do is to go to um, layer, add layer and there add vector layer. When you navigate to this menu then uh, you will have an option of to add different data sets in your to your project vector layers raster layers etc for example here we need again vector layer so you have to click here browse then you have to browse to the folder where your data is in my case it's analysis maps and again you have to choose the, the correct data set since i have already added uh, the shape file of the united states of america i'm go not going to do it okay so this is how my uh, project look like what you can see is a shape file of uh, united states of america it shows administrative units of us and uh, all its states now let me make it more beautiful make a real map out of this what i would like to do I would like to map several properties of the United States of America. I want to, to create a map showing different regions of the US. Well, basically, uh, what is always helpful for you is to open attribute table of the data file that you are working with, if it is a vector file. And there you can see the table with all the, the US. Well, basically, uh, what is always helpful for you is to open attribute table of the data file that you are working with if it is a vector file. And there you can see the table with all the attributes that basically this data set has. And when you explore you can see that there is one column which is called region. So basically all four regions of the USA are listed in this table. And I'm going to work with this column to create our map. In order to do this you have to, to right click on the layer and choose properties in the properties uh, the symbology menu will be automatically opened if not you have to navigate to the symbology and then in the top you have to select categorized why because the data that we are would like to map are categories yeah so we have four regions yeah once you have uh, selected categorized uh, in the upper um, row you have to go to the uh, to the row which is called value and select then the column with the name of regions that's the, the column that I have just showed to you for this you have to scroll down until you see your column here you go regions then we need to have to select a color ramp so basically how our regions will be look like like so there are different options available you can try different of them by your own well i would for this example uh, select spectral yeah and after this we have to go down and click here on classify 
when I did it, what I can see directly is I see uh, different classes which I have in these columns, in this column which is called uh, region. This is Midwest, North East, South and West. Well, let's click Apply and OK. And immediately what you can see, the colors of our administrative unit of the US, the country colors have been changed to reflect different regions. Yeah, So this is already a nice map, nice looking map that could show us where the states that belongs to the west region are located, the states that belong to the south, northeast and midwest are located in the United States of America. So the next stage of our analysis will be to create basically a map, to create a map layout. For this you have to go to the project, select new print layout and give a name to your layout. I will call my layout USA regions and uh, click OK. Afterwards, the new window will appear. Basically, um, this is a map layout window with which we are going to work now to create a map. So the first thing that you have to do is click Save. Don't forget to do it from time to time. And now we have to add our um, data, which is in QGIS, to the map. You have already seen that we have one shape file in our QGIS project and in order to add it we have uh, to select add the new map to the layout, this button here and then basically just le uh, left click, drag and the, the data, the, the, the layout of your map uh, from your project will appear on this map. Well, having created this uh, map we need um, essential elements of the maps, which is a layer, uh, legend, um, title and um, scale. Yeah? So let me show you how to create these um, features of your map. To add uh, a legend, we have to go to add item and uh, go to um, add legend. Yeah? When you click, again your shape of the arrow will change and I drag and drop and here you are, the legend of our map um, appeared. Uh, on. Now you can also select a different position of your map, you can move it around depending how you like it. The same you can do with the uh, main window, for this you have to select correct tool for navigating so this is the force button from the uh, from the left and then you can also move your map so basically I think the optimal would be like this and I will also adjust my window Having done this, uh, let's return to our legend. Um, well, basically what you see, we can we have now a legend showing what color stands for what. And now I would like to rename here the names of those categories. For this, you have to double click and then go to item properties and uh, select what you want to change. Double click on this and add a new name. So I would add the name regions of the USA. Then you click OK. Yeah, you can also change uh, the style, the font, so you can different do different stylizations options to adjust your view. After having done this, and you, um, the next task is to add scale bar. For this, you go to Add uh, Item and navigate to at scale bar, then you can just again drag and, dra drag and drop your scale bar and find an optimal location for your scale bar. And the final, the final element which I would like to add to my map will be the, ma the map's uh, title. For this I go again to add item and select add label. 
drag and drop and the window appears and then you can see here is label item properties and you can change it so i will call my map the regions of the usa after this i can also uh, select a font for my uh, title let make it Calibri, bold, and I want to do to make it big. Yeah, click apply, and here you can also navigate it. Okay, and put the title in a different uh, location of the map. Maybe I will just call it regions. Yes, regions of the United States of America looks better. Basically, that's your first map. You don't forget to save it and another important thing is actually how to export your map to the format that you can use uh, to insert it for example to your projects reports uh, powerpoint presentations in order to do so you go to layout and uh, you choose the option export as image then again you will be navigated uh, to um, to your uh, folder uh, explorers and you have to select a right folder and the right format so the name is file name is okay I will keep it as it is but I will select TIFF format I prefer uh, to have my maps in the TIFF format and you can click save then you will be uh, um, asked to add some uh, preferences for example what will be the export resolution page width, page length, all of these things that you have to adjust depending on what you want. Then you click save and basically that's it. Your first map is ready. Let me show you. I go to maps. I click to the map USA regions. This is what we have to just create it. I will open it with, um, let's open it with paint. Okay. I will zoom out and then you can see that we have created just uh, now a new uh, map which is called regions of the USA and which has different uh, regions of the United States of America. And now students I would like to ask you to use the data that I have provided for you the United States of America layer to play around to you can create the same map as I have just shown to you or you can choose other attribute from the attribute table and create your own map.